Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way over to the Ancestor Spirit boss fight. But before we do, like always, let's talk about a few things that I did off screen. And really all I did was farm up a butt ton of ruins, about 667,000. We're going to use those to level up today. But before we start leveling up, I want to say a few side notes here. First one being, I totally forgot to go back to the round table hold in the last video and get our third talisman pouch so that we can wear three talismans instead of two. So we'll end up doing that at the end of this video. And also make sure that you have about 16,000 runes before you um, leave and start this area because we're gonna need them for a merchant a little later. Now that that's all said, let's go ahead and level up. We're going to put two into Vigor, two into Endurance, two into Strength, and two into Dexterity. So we're going to keep pumping these four stats until we get Endurance up to 40. Once Endurance is up to 40, we're going to stop pumping that stat and only put uh, points into Strength, Dex, and Vigor. Also, another little side note. As we're hopping on Torrent here, I am not going to put any markers down on the map. This is a very small area and putting markers down is just going to get really clumped up and they're going to be essentially useless anyways. So we're just going to go off of sight today. Landmarks and sight and the compass. We're going to follow the compass quite a bit today. So hopefully that doesn't upset anybody. If it does, I apologize. Grab some of these items here. If you want, you can go up to the left side. There's no items over there. Except uh, Mudmen. There's some enemies. So if you want to fight some extra enemies, you can. Oh no, I fell off. Grab a golden rune too. Smithing too. These guys really don't hurt that bad. Just those guys with the big bubble, they can hurt. Get some immunizing cured meat. Try not to get hit by the bubble. Grab some smithing stones. We're going to come up to the top here. Uh, not smithing stones. Rainbow stones. I'm sorry. Those are not smithing stones. Get a budding horn. Actually get three of them, not just one. Come up to the top. Follow this around. Oh, I keep forgetting to sell my daggers. I sell my rune arcs, but I don't seem to sell my daggers for some reason be very careful there i don't know why i went up on that lip but you want to go right at the angle to where you're at the corner and drop down we're gonna kill this blue scarab here grab the oracle bubbles that shoots out a bunch of small bubbles at your enemies. Pretty cool spell. Can be pretty powerful if you are up close to an enemy and all those bubbles hit. Go 
grab a ghost glove wart. And then over here by these mud men. Grab a few more items. We're going to hop off Torrent. Try to grab the item off of that. It's being finicky there. Want to take this elevator up. We're going to hop on Torrent just to hop off here in a minute. It's all right. We can hop right back on in just a second. Grab some preserving bolluses. Grab a beast liver. Now over here you can see an item, but there is a crab right next to it. So you want to grab the item and then run away. Be really careful for that crab. Hop up here. Get ourselves another golden rune. Some ghost glove wart. And then we're going to touch this grace. Activate this summoning pool. Oh, I don't know why I hopped on Torrent. We're going to light this brazier real fast. So this is one of eight. We have seven more to get. We're going to be lighting these braziers. That'll light all those torches. Now let's hop on Torrent. We're going to go west. We're going to grab ourselves a cookbook. There are a couple enemies over here, but you should be able to grab the cookbook. No problem. We can hop back down. And then right over here, we get the map to the Soifra River. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Hopefully I am. So right now we're just doing all of this. It's just this thin little piece that we're going to be working on. That's why I said there's no sense in putting markers down because they're just going to get all bunched up. Grab a ghost glove wart. And then if we go to the north, just here, we can see a teleporter. We're not going to take this teleporter. It will take us all the way to the other end of the Soifra river well. And we don't want to do that. Grab a somber smithing stone too. Be really careful for those balls of electricity. They will mess you up. So if you don't have to get close to them, don't. That was a fail. Ouch, man. Ouch. We're going to come up here. We're going to grab ourselves a lump of flesh. We have one more enemy over here. Let's light this brazier. Oh, there's an enemy right here. If we kill him, we can get um, some of our crimson flasks back. 
Come on. Or not. I thought we could. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Grab this golden rune four. And then right over here. Want to be really careful. There are a ton of enemies over here. But we want to light this brazier as well. This is our third brazier. And then we're going to go to the south. Again, be really careful. We have some archers and we have those balls of lightning. Kind of patrolling around. Almost missed this ghost glove wart. Go ahead and follow this path. Grab these items on our way. Let's light this brazier. And then we're going to hop on Torrent. Just barely missed that. We're going to veer off to the north. Grab this item. Grab that item. Grab that item. Try not to get hit by that guy like me. And then heading northwest, we want to go up on this scaffolding here. Should have another guy coming down. I guess this time we got some uh, crimson flasks back. Just not last time. Grab that golden rune three. And this is where we're going to need 16,000 runes. We're going to hop down here. We're going to talk to this merchant. Oh, a customer. We're going to buy the three stone sword keys. Then we're going to buy the larval tier, the nomadic warriors cookbook 17 and 18. And that'll be all. Goodbye till next time. Now we can hop on torrent inside here. We're going to want to. There is a big Miranda flower down below. So be careful of that. Grab this smithing stone four. Now the more dangerous part is all these land octopuses. So if you don't want to grab all these items and just bypass all these land octopuses, I completely understand. Just try to do your best. some more of our flasks back here. Wait, that brazier. Woo! Where'd you come from, bud? Be careful dropping down right here. There's a big old crab. We want to uh, run over to this ruin. Light the grace. Go ahead and activate this summoning pool. And then right over there, we can see another brazier, but there's two electric balls. What you want to do is run over here, quickly hop off Torn, and immediately 
light that brazier. Just go ahead and light it. That way you can use the iframes to not get hit by the bolts of lightning they're shooting out. Also, be careful. There is a spirit guy hiding off in the trees. We're going to head to the southeast here. Up on the portion of these ruins, we're going to get an item as well. Get a smithing stone three. And then we have done essentially one big circle. Let's hoping to dodge that. Unfortunately, that did not work out for me. We're going to be taking this teleporter in just a second. This is going to bring us to the top of the Soifra River. Get a somber smithing stone too. And then we're going to take this portal. We're going to be going right up there. I'll see everybody over there. Let's go ahead and turn our lantern on. Hop on torrent. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a big circle. We're going to be starting over here and then going all the way around. It's pretty easy. You shouldn't get too lost. Hopefully everybody's um, doing just fine with following along, not struggling too much without the markers. Get two slumbering eggs. And then inside here we're going to have a blue shimmering scarab. Smithing stone five. That'll come in handy a little later into the video. We can go back to the round table hold. And level up our bloodhound's fang. So we get the bigger bubble. Now it's a really big one you can do a lot of damage to enemies with. We're going to come up here to the southwest. Grab a golden rune seven. And then if you're needing a few crimson flasks, if you've lost some due to healing. You can always get some right here from this Crimson Scarab. Maybe. Holy moly. They're making it difficult. Okay, we're going to hop off. This is going to be a Dragonkin Soldier. They're weak against slashing, which we have on our Bloodhound's Fang. So we'll do just fine. We're going to summon in Oleg. And then we're going to buff our weapon. Two-handed again. And keep your flasks on. This guy can do a lot of damage, but you want to stay behind him. And you want to time your rolls. Because he can hurt pretty freaking bad. Kind of time your rolls to roll through his slamming attacks. Not like that. And he's down. Pretty easy. Shouldn't be too hard. He is susceptible to bleed. We get the dragon hellbred for killing him. And then we want to head east to northeast, depending on where you are at after fighting him. And we're going to get Maricus Scarseal. Pretty good um, talisman for all you magic builds. It will increase your intelligence, your mind, and I believe faith in arcane. But the only downside to that is you will take more damage. 
So you'll be able to get a boost in stats, but you'll also take more damage. Grab this golden rune. And then right here, we get a Ghost Glove Wart 4. Good stuff. And then right here to the northeast, we can fall down. If we fall down, we'll be just fine. Just try to fall where this lip is and not any further. I'm not sure if it's a death if you fall any further, but I wouldn't chance it. I'm going to come over here. You don't have to ride Torrent over here on this. I'm just being brave. Sometimes a little too brave. I hate this part. I always feel like I'm going to fall off. Grab a stone sword key. Worth the anxiety, I suppose. Oh my goodness. Let's hop back on Torrent. And then once we get up here, we can safely cross. Grab a golden seed. We'll be able to level up our flask again. That way we can have nine flasks instead of eight. Or you can have two cerulean and eight, uh, and eight crimson. Grab a rune arc from over here. And then right over here, we have a land bridge that we can cross. There's going to be a bunch of rats over here, so be prepared. Take out the big mama rat first. Just be careful not to get too close to the spirits or they're going to join the fight as well. And that's not going to be fun. Get a charged R2. Another charged R2. Get some flasks back. Light that brazier. And then we're going to light a another brazier, which is going to be our last brazier. But we're going to have some more rats to kill. Again, try not to get the spirits involved. Hit one back away. The other two should chase you. Light that last brazier. And then the power gathers somewhere in horned remains. So there is a horned um, ancestor spirit, like dead ancestor spirit way back there where all the torches are. We're going to be going over there in just a moment. But first, we're going to be grabbing this item over here. Be really careful. You're going to have a bunch of those spirits shooting arrows at you. Just grab the item and go right back down. We're going to take the path where all these boulders are to block all the archers. And then we're just going to head northwest to another grace just over here. Go ahead and light the grace and activate the summoning pool. Before we go up top, we want to come over here, get ourselves a Ghost Glove Wart 3. And then we're about to get a talisman. Get the clarifying horn charm. And then let's activate this elevator. This is going to be a long elevator ride. So what I'm going to do is cut the elevator ride out and see everybody at the top. So I'll see everybody at the top in just a moment. 
Welcome to the top of the elevator, which sends us straight in to Kalid. Fun times. We're going to be going to Kalid here soon in the next few episodes. Let's light this grace. Over there, you can go over to a Colosseum, activate it, and be able to PvP with people. But there's also two really big iron golems or iron giants, whatever you want to call them. So be aware of that. We're not going to go over there just yet because there is a talisman we can get over there. But we need to do a couple NPC invasions. Now it's up to you if you want to come over here for this item. There is a really big bear over here and it's harder than the other ones. So if you can try not to get his attention, it is advised, but not always the easiest. We're going to ride right by him. Try to go up on this right side if you get his attention. It's easier to lose his AI. Like he won't be able to get you when you go up on there. Let's go back down to the Soifra River well. I'll see everybody at the bottom. Let's hop on Torrent. So again, we're going to ride along the left side. Keep the cliff to our left here. Should be safe. Shouldn't get hit with any arrows. As long as you're not stopping to see the sights, that is. And then off to the west, we have a silver scarab. We get the Ash of War square off. We already have that. Up to you on if you want to use it or not. Not really that good of an Ash of War, in my opinion. If we ride to the southeast, you can see this teleporter. This is the teleporter that would have brought us over here from the beginning. So if we would have took that other teleporter, we would have just ended up over here. That's why I was like, ah, we don't need to use that. We'll be coming over this way shortly anyways. We're still going to stick to the left side here. We're going to make a pit stop at this grace. Go ahead and upgrade our flask. It's up to you if you want to put it into your crimson or you want to put it into your cerulean. Makes no difference either way. We're still going to stay hugging the cliff side here. Careful not to get shot with an arrow like me. And then right here we want to use this spirit spring. We're going to go to the top of these runes. Almost missed this. Glove wart three. Ghost glove wart. Ooh. Sometimes Torrent does what Torrent wants to do. Be really careful up here. I always hate coming up here. Makes me feel I'm like I'm gonna fall off. Get another stone sword key. I'm just going to get off torrent. I'm getting nervous that I'm just going to fall to my death. We'll have, hop back on torrent in just a moment. I'm going to roll down right here. Here comes another really sketchy spot. We want to fall down this way. And then what we want to do is inch off. Try not to fall to our death. 
and then we want to inch off again. Here's the really sketchy area because we're essentially standing in the air. And then we want to come around this way. We're going to fall onto this and then down here. Over here, we're going to get an item. This is just some dwelling arrows. Not really the most useful item in the world for doing all that. But it allows us to get back over here. You can use this spirit spring. If you want to jump on top of that rune, you can. I'm not going to bother with it. Go ahead and grab the golden rune four, and then we're going to fall down this way. We're going to come around these pillars, grab ourselves the horn bow. And then if we come to the left side, we have another item, which is going to be a golden rune six. We have some spirits that are chasing us down. Just kind of ride past them. And we have made it through the Soifra River well. Again, hopefully I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. Maybe. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'm just really bad with names. Right here, we want to touch the horned remains. Now we're about to go into a boss fight. This is not a hard boss fight at all. Let's go ahead and drink our wondrous flask of physic, go through the fog wall, and then we'll summon in Oleg. Honestly, you don't even need Oleg for this boss fight. The ancestor spirit is really a pushover and I kind of feel bad killing him every single time I do. Oh, I thought I dodged enough. Careful for the charging attacks, obviously. You don't want to stand into a charging animal. Or stand in the way of a charging animal. My bad. Jumps in the air like that. Just back away. It's going to spit some fire at you. Keep missing them. I'm trashed here, everybody. This is essentially all you're doing. The music, though, is beautiful for this boss fight. Gives me this Native American style music with the flutes and stuff. Or Asian. It could, it could be either. And then there's the Ancestor Spirit. You get the Ancestral Follower Ashes for killing the Ancestor Spirit. Now we can go to the map and what we want to do is head back to the round table hold. Like always, I know I sound like a broken record, but for those of you that may not know, triangle square X will bring you straight back to the round table hold. Let's turn our lantern on and we're going to come over here to where the two fingers are at. And we're going to talk to this lady. I had my doubts, but my look at you. Only once before have I seen two great runes together. Look there, the fingers 
shudder with exuberance. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. You have earned the right to become Elden Lord. Now, seek the Erd Tree and an audience with Queen Marika to become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. The Fingers expect as much from you as they do, young Gideon. Take this, a token of farewell. This is our third talisman pouch. Now we'll be able to put on three talismans instead of just two. Now, go forth. Become Elden Lord. Now she said something that was really interesting. She said that she's only seen somebody gain two ruins only once. So us and one other person. And I think that other person is Vike. And it's not confirmed. It's just my thought on this. Because in all the promotional art, all of that, Vike is the knight that you see kneeling down with their sword. And he came close to becoming the Elden Lord. So I think that she's seen Vike get two great runes. So that's just my thought. Let's go ahead and talk to her again. <sighs> you have returned. What is it? So we know about receiving the powers of remembrances. We, we've done that. I explained it when we got Godric's over here. You can get Renala's staff. That's a glintstone staff. Pretty good staff. It, I believe it's an S tier class. Pretty easy to get it to S tier. So if you're doing a mage build of some sort, you probably want to grab this staff because it's one of the better ones, if not the best. Over here is Renala's full moon sorcery. Pretty cool. Never tried it out. Don't know how good it is, but it cost a ton of intelligence, 70 intelligence to use that and also 60 intelligence to use that uh, Glintstone staff. Over here, now we can receive equipment of champions. This is going to allow us to get different boss gear. We can get Renala's now if you want. I'll be getting that off uh, screen as usual. So if you want to buy that now, Feel free. If you don't care about it, I understand. Let's go ahead and talk to Ina one more time about Queen Marika. Queen Marika is the vessel of the Elden Ring, carrier of its vision. A god in truth. But after the Elden Ring's shattering, she was imprisoned in the Erd Tree. A grim punishment for shattering the Order, despite her godhood. <sighs> the fingers speak. Marika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in shackles, she remains a god and the vision's vessel. Confer great runes to become Elden Lord and join Queen Marika as her consort. The fingers have willed it so. Now you may go. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Let's go over to the blacksmith. We're going to level up our Bloodhound's Fang. And then we're going to go over to Rodrika and level up Oleg. Well, I took you for no matter. Lay out your own. Greetings. Are you here? Now we can go back to our map and we're going to come over to the Ansel or Ansel. I cannot pronounce these words. I apologize. 
I am trashed here when it comes to uh, names and stuff. So I'm just going to say Ansel or Ansel Riverwell. We're going to hit R3. And we're going to go over to the Grace. I'll see everybody over there. And when we get over there, we're going to end the video. All righty, everyone. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.